The day after a 7-1 drubbing of the Calgary Flames on home ice, the Canucks embark on a four-game road swing beginning in the Big Apple. With only 29 games remaining and currently sitting below the playoff bar, Vancouver will face its most important road trip of the season to date. I always love coming to the city. It's uh, one of my favorites and obviously we're playing some pretty good hockey and you know it's just a matter of putting the puck in the net sometimes and sometimes you get uh, those right bounces and you get to those big leads and obviously we deserved it and played well um, but again we can't get too high on ourselves. We gotta, we gotta know that New York's a great team and this is gonna be a tough road trip and we gotta be ready to go. We've had some uh, <laughs> pretty good memories in the garden and I've had some pretty good spats with the garden fans in the past, but uh, uh, it's, uh, it's a great place, it, I mean, to come back to. Let's face it, it's, uh, it's uh, the heart of the world when it comes to sporting events. So it's, uh, it's always exciting and uh, there's been some good times and some bad times here. Hopefully tomorrow's a good time. Elias Pettersson, JT Miller and Bo Horvat are all coming off two goal performances and will look to continue that success at one of the most prestigious venues in the NHL, Madison Square Garden. You know, I had a lot of great times here, uh, drafted here, kind of started uh, started my career and my journey in the NHL here, so I always have a special place um, for this organization. And, uh, you know, it's always easy to play, you know, it's, um, easy to get up for games to go play at the Garden. You know, such a fun place to play. put forth one of their best performances of the season on Thursday, shellacking the Flames 7-1. Tonight, Vancouver begins a crucial four-game road trip under the bright lights of Broadway against the Blue Shirts. It's the Vancouver Canucks and the New York Rangers at Madison Square Garden in New York City. Here's Miller around the net, pass out in front, they score! Tanner Pearson coming straight down the middle. Gets the setup from JT Miller and gives Vancouver a 1 0 lead. All star goaltender Thatcher Demko shuts the door early and often, robbing the Rangers of multiple grade A chances to keep his team in front. Now Kreider back to Fox, shot towards the net, saved by Demko on the redirection by Zabanejad. Pearson got it. Here's the chance for Kreider and the save by Demko. Oh, Kreider. Flying in, got to the puck. Strom is in the high slot. In front, save Demko on Kreider's redirection. Looking for Kreider. Kreider is in front. Then it's up by Demko. And Kreider couldn't get the rebound. Only 45 seconds left in the first period. Tyler Myers breaks through. Here's JT Miller the other way. Pass across. And they score. Got late coming on, but Tyler Myers takes the feed from JT Miller. Back for it, swings it around the board. Good shot toward the net, a score! Yuho Lamico on a deflection of the Luke Shen pass, and it's 3-0 Vancouver. Five different scorers on the evening for the Canucks, but none of them as big as the birthday boy, Matthew Highmore, notching his third of the season. Over to the left side, Ekman Larson, long wrist shot, scores! Tipped in front by Matthew Highmore, and the birthday boy cashes in. He turns 26 today, he's got his third of the season, and it's 4-0 Vancouver. Yeah, this is, this is pretty cool. You know, it's up there with uh, a couple other birthday games that I've had, but uh, to be here at MSG and uh, ultimately get the win and um, you know keep our playoff push alive, it was uh, a ton of fun. That is empty, and he puts it in! Elias Pedersen with a backhander into the empty net. Now winners of three in a row and outscoring their opponents 17 to five along the way. Canucks will head across the Hudson River next to New Jersey and face a struggling Devils team that sits in 12th in the Eastern Conference. Big win. Guys, coming into New York on the first game of this uh, important road trip and doing that and weathering the storm. I think it was really important that they got the two goals and we weathered the storm. That's a 
that's enormous going into tomorrow's game here. So let's uh, uh, let's make sure we get a good rest, good food tonight, and get ready again because the back-to-backs is where you make the points. I'll go over it again tomorrow, but uh, let's uh, let's enjoy that win and let's give away that belt and see you tomorrow. Uh, huge win, started already off right, uh, played really well, handled the storm like Bruce has said, but I'm gonna give it to the birthday boy. Yeah. Hey, great win, boys. Uh, rest up. Let's go get two more more. It's been more than seven years since the Canucks have defeated the Devils with their last win over New Jersey coming on November 25th, 2014. And coincidentally, they can break that streak on a day where the organization plays its 4,000th regular season game since entering the NHL in 1970. But all the focus on this game will be placed on the Hughes brothers, with Quinn set to face his younger brother Jack for the third time in his NHL career. I think I'm 0-3 against him and 0-2 in the NHL against him, so it's kind of a problem. And especially tonight, we need points so bad right now. So, um, you know, it's not as much about changing narrative, but more as, you know, we need to keep climbing the ladder. But yeah, you know, it'll be nice to Hopefully we won in three after tonight. It's the Vancouver Canucks and the New Jersey Devils at Prudential Center in Newark. NHL hockey is on the air. For Quinn Hughes, long wrist shot block, rebound far circle for Hoaglander, stopped by Dawes, who made a great save on the rebound too. Two on one, he's got Mercer with him. Hughes shoots, he scores! Mercer with a pass, gathered by Hughes, return pass, Sharon Govic scores! Devils score three goals in the first period over Vancouver as old habits or perhaps fatigue creep back into the Canucks game. Play it across, Brett down low, score! The setup by Brett, the goal Dawson Mercer, it's 3-0. Vasily Podkolzin attempts to turn the momentum by making it 3-1 early in the second, but the home team erupts for three more goals in the middle frame and adds one more in the third cruising to a 7-2 win. Shaka, fire of the way, score! Jesper Brandt, let it rip, what a wrist shot. It's now 6-1 Devils. Well, everybody's feeling it from an offensive standpoint. One of the few bright spots on the night for Vancouver is JT Miller, as he registers an assist on Tanner Pearson's goal to extend his point streak to seven games. I don't have a, a, a theory quite frankly. I mean, we talked about it in the morning meeting, the evening meeting, the, I mean, the, the preparation for the day. Uh, I wish I had an answer to it. I don't. I mean, rack the brains over why some games we can play so good in the first period and then other games, as in most of the year, that we've come out. If there's going to be something bad, that's going to happen in the first period. We're ready to go. Um, talked about what they were going to bring, how fast they play. And uh, we didn't match it at all, and uh, you know that's why I got down quick, and then you're chasing. So, yeah, it's just uh, unacceptable in a in a game like this, in a in a situation like this. Coming off a poor performance in New Jersey, the Canucks know they need to be better if they want to defeat what should be an upbeat Islanders team returning home for the first time after a five-game road trip. We've been talking a lot about it the last couple days, and I, I felt like just getting back to playing fast. I think that was. It was coming back at us. We kind of played a little bit slow and, and kind of took the puck back into our own zone uh, a little bit too much uh, the other night. But uh, when we're playing fast, we, we're moving the puck up and, and kind of get on our four check. I feel like we're really, really good team and a team to uh, to uh, to be scared of because uh, that's how we create a lot of chances with, with our four check and, and uh, that's what we need to get back to. Tonight, the Canucks will look to get back in the win column and gain a measure of revenge against the Islanders, who embarrassed them on home ice last month. It's the Vancouver Canucks and the New York Islanders at UBS Arena in Elmont. NHL hockey is on the air. Down, Lammer. Oh, Noah 
Dobson gives the Islanders a 1-0 lead at the start of the second. But secondary scoring comes through for the Canucks when Maple Ridge native Brad Hunt nets his first goal in blue and green to draw Vancouver back onto level terms. And holding his ground is Varlamov. Well, that looked like a little trip there, didn't it? Oh, they score! The puck continued to roll after all was taken down and the shot from Hunt leaked through Varlam off to tie the game. JT Miller follows up with his 21st of the year and extends his point streak to eight games, giving Vancouver the lead. But the Islanders aren't so easily deterred. New York ties the game with less than two minutes left in the second and takes a 3-2 lead less than two minutes into the third. That one's it. But just before the midway mark of the final stanza, Niels Hoaglander pulls the monkey off his back, snapping a 20-game goal drought. Connor Garland, a great move to feed Niels Hoaglander, and the Canucks have come back to tie it again. And just 45 seconds later, another young buck seals it for Vancouver. Mayfield attempting to recover. The pass for Mike Colson, and he scores! Horvat wins a battle and feeds Pod Colson. Goals 45 seconds apart for Vancouver, and they now lead 4 3. And you have that will to win all the time, and you're pushing, and there was never any um, on the bench, any, it wasn't a, not a question of doubt. There was never any, oh, woe is me thing. It was like, okay, boys, let's keep pushing, because we knew in the, the first two periods that we had a lot of opportunities. And I'm glad the two guys, that, well, all three of the guys that scored. Uh, hadn't been getting a lot of uh, success scoring goals, so it was really it was really fun to see that. Never would would I have ever dreamed of playing for my hometown team and scoring a goal and getting a huge win when we need it the most. It's uh, it's obviously a great feeling, and uh, I'm sure a lot of people are really excited. But my parents, my my family, they're probably pumped. But yeah, it's a really cool feeling. You did some great things on the breakups. I thought you did some great things. The one one three at the end. I thought you guys were doing superior things here. So that's the way you play like that. You you beat everybody. So. So great job. Let's give uh, our little uh, belt away and let's uh, it'd be interesting to see who's getting it. <laughs> Good game, boys. Uh, lots of guys played well. Uh, Demmer made some big saves, lots of blocks at the end, but uh, pause. Demko makes 24 saves in the win as the Canucks continue to close the gap in the Western Conference standings with four wins in their last five games and two out of three in New York. Canucks return north of the border, aiming for a third win on the road trip, but they'll have to do it against one of the most dynamic and storied franchises in the NHL, the Toronto Maple Leafs. I think when you lose a game like we did in New Jersey, you know, your antennas definitely go up and, and know that, you know, for the road trip, you kind of you kind of have to play, you know, your best games the rest of the way out and yeah, for, uh, for this trip. And um, we know what's ahead, and, um, but, you know, tonight this is one of the best teams in the league and you have to have your A game to, you know, to give yourself a chance to win. You know, there's very little room for error, that's for sure. Like, I mean, every loss to me is like a, you lose three games instead of one. Um, and uh, uh, any every night that you don't play, somebody that you want to catch is, is winning. The kids came alive for the Canucks in the third period on Thursday, leading Vancouver to a victory over the Islanders. Tonight, the Canucks look to salvage a three and one trip as they head into the six to face Austin Matthews and the Maple Leafs. JT Miller gets things rolling. To Hudson across, him and a shot get through, and a rebound in front scores. JT Miller stays red hot, and the Canucks have the lead. His point streak now at nine games. From there, the floodgates open as the two teams go to battle. Break for Warner and to Tavares scores. Back to him and a look up and through score. Tipped in front. Who got the final touch? Jason was there. JT Miller firing loose in front scores. And the Canucks do have a power play.
play goal from Brock Besser. Nylander skates onto it, and he's got a break. He's got Dick Robertson. Scores! Played by Kerfoot. Back heel. Jesus puts a cross. Oh, did you see that? What a brilliant stop by Demko. Besser trying to skate away from traffic. Game away. Austin Matthews has tied the game. Back to Matthews. Scores! Vancouver. Vancouver has a win in Toronto for the first time in 13 tries, dating back to 2011. The Canucks have now earned 10 of their last 12 available points as the push for the playoffs continues with the team traveling home to play seven straight in the comfort of Rogers Arena. Hey, great job, boys. Listen, I've been around a long time. You'll remember this game because at the end of the year, this game is going to be a big one for us. So great job, great trip. Let's give the belt and get the out of here. Yeah. Okay. All right. Who's got it? Great win, great job, guys. <laughs> Chaser, your best today. Yeah. 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 Boys, what a trip. We're coming together here as a team, and when it matters, you got to love this. Keep it going. Yeah. 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 